Alright, White Dragon Gaming here. I'm going to show you how I do my audio and my video recording. So I have Audacity up on my second monitor, which is right here. Um, I'm just using OBS to record this since I'm not going to have any uh, desktop audio or game audio is what I use this for. Uh, what it does is it takes up whatever audio is coming through my computer and puts it in this uh, line right here. So what I am trying to fix right now is that I want more control over my voice audio and the game audio. And I want more control over the mixture. So I'm going to be, from now on, my first video was just both of these and I had my audio way down and the game volume too far up. And I want to be able to control that in post-editing. So I'm going to record with two different softwares at the same time because that's the only easy way that I know how to do it. Um, I'm sure there's easier and faster ways to do it, but that's the way I'm going to, I know how to do it off the top of my head. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I don't want, I want to start recording my audio so that I can sync it up. So I'll do three, two, one and clap. So that'll give me a, uh, uh, a peak in my audio form that I can link up later. And then also my voice will link up as well. So I'm going to go to settings in OBS and I'm going to go to outputs. So recordings and then it's now it's recording audio track one and two, which in this case is my desktop audio and my mic mix. So just so that I can see it, I'm going to, well, I can't do that while I'm recording. Okay. Good to know. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a hot key to mute my mic. Desktop audio mic. Here we go. Mute. Okay, so this will... I'm going to make it... Ooh, I don't know. I don't have any... I don't have a special keyboard to have extra keys that I can map out. So start and stop is F12. Let's do F10. I think F10 will work for most. F11 is big screen and small screen for almost every application. So you'll have to skip that one. Um, capture for I'm going to clear this because I don't, I would, I tried it when I was first starting OBS. I did that because I was having issues capturing games at full screen. And because OBS wasn't recognizing games, if they weren't, if they were windowed, um, so F10. So I'll start, hit one, three, hit F12, three, two, one, clap, and then hit F10 to stop OBS from listening to my mic. Uh, that will flatline this, and then later it will, um, I can unmute it or whenever, sync again, make sure that everything's in the right spot, and then um, I can uh, have Audacity, which I will start recording now just as a practice. So there's my audio form and my voice and uh, Audacity. And then now I can go three, two, one. And that was the clap that I just did. So there's the spike for the audio form and I'm gonna pull this back to my second screen. Um, so I can apply this, hit that, and now let's try F10. La 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 la. There you go. Okay, so you guys will be able to, I forgot that you could hear me on Audacity. So now I'm going to unpause it and say this is 20 minutes later down the road while I know I'm going to cut a spot out. I'm going to use this to sync up my voice. Three, two, one, clap again. That way if I accidentally mess up something way down the road, I can still sync it up. And then I'm going to unpa or pause my thing and then I'm going to pull up just a YouTube video real quick. Um, I'm, I have Jack Septicai, uh bookmarked because I watch him a lot. So I'm just going to start playing a video so you can make sure... Hey, and I can balance. And welcome back to Simulacra. I don't know what we're doing this time. Balance my uh, audio there, with no the desktop audio. So um, new message from Taylor. Talk to him. New message there we from go. Greg, talk to him. So shout out to Jack Septicai. He's probably my favorite YouTuber. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's how I'm going to do things from now on. That way, you guys don't get blown out with game audio or my voice. Uh, and then you guys can always. Uh, tell me if you like it one way or another. Anyway, that's how I'm going to do it from now on. So I'm going to stop recording and then I'll record how I edit things too. And that will probably be in the same video. Alright, so this is... Um, I'm going to show you how I edit my audio files and you're going to learn with me. Um, I have an idea of how this is all going to work, but um, 
I'm going to make mistakes in front of you because that's I want to be transparent. So here's the Dossity file. This is the all the audio form for the video that you saw at the beginning of this. Um, and then the rest of this audio is going to be through OBS because it's kind of hard to work with Audacity and record through Audacity. So um, on the other hand, it's easy to do it with OBS because I'm done with OBS for now because it automatically saves everything. I'm going to bring this over to my second monitor uh, so it's out of my way. Um, I use Shotcut uh, for my video editing. Um, it's fairly robust and pretty easy to do. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to export my my uh, file here as a wave. I don't have the file that will allow it to save for MP3, which is fine. Uh, Shotcut will work fine with wave. So I'm going to go test one audio. Whoop! It would help if I could spell right. Audio. Um. Uh, Dossity, let's... I had tried this once before, but I didn't like... I forgot that I had to have game audio, game volume, which I had to switch. Um, so I had to re-record all of this, but anyway. So this will work. I'm just going to save over anything there. Yeah, that'll work. And then I don't need to add anything to this because it's not going to matter anyway. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to export. Now, I, I've tried this before, so I know this is going to work. I can close this out. Uh, I've already saved it, but just in case it doesn't save, I'm going to save again. Oh, no. You know what? I, I don't need it. I know it's saved. So I know that it is right here. Okay. So with this, I, I always double check and make sure that it's a new one. It opens up as a new one. So I'm going to bring in my oh. audio just as a practice. Pause it so you always don't have to listen to my ugly voice. And then the other thing is, is I have to bring into the video form from OBS. So that is in a shortcut here on my second monitor. I forgot it opens over here. So it is right here. This is the one that's recording right now. This is the one that I just got done finishing. So I'm going to drag that over and ta-da. All right, white dragon game. So there's that. Now I can big screen this, full screen it. So my timeline's up here, and this is the preview. So I add a track for each. Um, V1 is visual, audio 1. So I'm going to bring my audio down, and then it always puts you at the very end of your uh, clip. You want to be at the beginning. So then you bring your video. Bring that way back to the beginning. It's easier if you zoom out for this part. And then you can drag it forward like that. Um, ooh, that might be an issue. My video is longer than my audio. I wonder if I cut it off halfway through. Oh, we'll find out, huh? Okay, so here's the beginning. I'm going to bring it back to the front. And I'm going to show it. you how I do... Oh, audio needs to be fine. Audacity. Audio. And then now I can go recording. Three, so two, I have it off one. for my second. Okay, i got to figure out who said that three, was two, the one. clap. That and then now I can go three, two, one. Okay, that's where three, two, one is. All right, so now I need to find out where three, two, one is on my video. So I can sync those Second up. monitors, which is right here. Um, I'm just using... I'm going to bring it to the front. All right, White Dragon Gaming here. I'm going to show you how I do my audio and my video recording. So I have Audacity up on my second monitor, which is right here. Um, I'm just using OBS to record this since I'm not going to have any uh, desktop audio or game audio is what I use this for. Uh, what it does is it takes up whatever audio is coming through my computer and puts it in this uh, line right here. So what I am trying to fix right now is that I want more control over my voice audio and the game audio, and I want more control over the mixture. So I'm going to be, from now on, my first video was just both of these, and I had my audio way down and the game volume too far up, and I want to be able to control that in post-editing. So I'm going to record with two different softwares at the same time, because that's the only easy way that I know how to do it. Um, I'm sure there's easier and faster ways to do it, but that's the way I'm going to... I know how to do it off the top of my head. So 
I'm going to show you how to do this. So what I'm going to do is I don't want, I want to start recording my audio so that I can sync it up. So I'll do three, two, one and clap. So that'll give me a, uh, uh, a peak in my audio form that I can link up later. And then also my voice will link up as well. So I'm going to go to settings in OBS and I'm going to go to outputs. So, okay. So I just remember that it's going to be way down in here and I'm should have, there we go. should have a flat spot where I go three, two, one. And then here I should be able to kind of line it up towards the end of the video. So I stopped Audacity pretty close to the end. So some are going to be around here. So I'm just going to skip all this. I can unmute it or whenever, sync again, make sure that everything's in the right spot. And then um, I can uh, have Audacity, which I will start recording now. So there we go. Okay. So right where the timeline is pretty much. So we're going to start right there. And I am going to unmute this to see how close it is. As a practice. Just as a practice. Okay. So now here's where it's going to get fun. I'm going to zoom way in so I can try to match up the uh, waveforms together, uh, which will actually be easier to do over here. Um, so I'm going to look at this peak and this peak, which I'm guessing is going to be right there and right there since it all looks the same. So I need to drag this back. Oh, it's snapping too. I don't want it to do that. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to skip to here. I forgot that you could hear me on Audacity. So now I'm going to unpause and say this. That is trippy. That is pretty darn good. I am going to save this so I don't lose that. Um, just because I haven't saved this at all yet. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. I'm just going to save it to my desktop uh, for right now. Um, and I'm just going to go uh, test audio and and edit. <laughs> hey, I, I didn't get an A in spelling, so don't don't bash me too hard. And then it was in the spelling B. Audio? No, nope. audio. Nah, screw it. I know what it means. You guys can yell at me in the comments. So I'm going to save that on my desktop, which is there. So I'll save that. And now I can hit Control S, which I just did. I, it's habit because I work as a machinist, so you always double save stuff. Um, so that's how I'm going to do things. And then what I can do is uh, this here. Well, I think I played a video. I think I played a video up in here, right here. I think this is where the video is at. So I'm going to skip to there and make sure that, that this works how I like it to. Uh, well, you guys get to see this for the first time as long as, as um, same as me. Jack Jacksepticeye uh, bookmarked because I watch him a lot. So I'm just going to start playing a video so you can make sure and I can balance. Welcome back to Simulacra. I don't know what we're doing this time. Balance my uh, audio so with no the desktop audio. So um, new message from Taylor. Talk to him. New message there from we go. Talk to him. So shout out to Jack Septicai. He's probably my favorite YouTuber. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's how I'm going to do things from now on. That way, you guys don't get blown out with game audio. Or all right, so there we go. I got distracted a little bit listening to my own voice. It's weird to hear my own voice. I am not used to it, so it'll be a learning curve for me. Um, anyway, so that's how I'm going to do things from now on. Uh, you guys let me know if you know of any easier, cheaper, I guess you can't really get cheaper than free. But anyway, faster, cooler way of doing things. Um, this way, what I can do is I can cut out, like... Right now, after this, I'm going to record an episode of World of Warships and just try some stuff out. Um, just try see how editing this is going to go. What I'll probably do is take, for the first few years, because I'm not expecting anybody to subscribe. Um, they just happen. I'm not even expecting people to find my videos, just the way YouTube and uh, uh, things work. Um, I'll probably save this, export it, 
as one big file so it'll condense these together um, and then after that what I'll do is I will um, I'll do some more advanced stuff like cutting cutting the video but keeping my audio going at the same time and then sync it up eventually where there's a split so like say I had right here there's a video that I wanted to cut off right here but I wanted my audio to continue and then I wanted to continue another scene right after that but there was no audio so what I can do is I can finish my sentence but my scene cuts off before I finish my sentence and then the next sentence starts here um, I want to be able to do that eventually, and that makes it a lot easier on your guys' ears, and it's not so stuttery and stoppy in any way. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to save that again. I'm a save happy person. And then I will edit these two videos together now, and you will see them back to back.